All right, here now for a deeper dive, we welcome criminologist Dr. Debbie Goodman. Uh, Dr. Goodman, you know, thank you so much for being you know, on the show again. You were immediately who I thought of when I saw this news. Um, we know that there is no doubt that this is a grim reminder to this community, having that house standing there. But again, considering that the trial is still pending, we don't even have a, a date set. Do you, as an expert in this field, think it makes sense to demolish the home before the trial has even started? Good afternoon, Nicole. Always a pleasure to join you. Do I think it makes sense? I do not. I feel as a criminologist that this home represents the crime scene. And it would be important, as, as you and Brian just discussed, for this jury that we don't even have selected yet, nor do we have a trial date, yet we have a demolition date. And I just do not think this makes sense, Nicole. I think it's very important for this jury to have an opportunity to potentially walk through, whether it's interior, exterior, or both, this crime scene. It will set the tone for what happened on November 13th. We've had other profile, high profile cases whereby jury members have done just that. Where I'm from in Florida, being involved in the Parkland shooting, 17 decedents of a mass murder at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, that jury was permitted to walk through. So I'm not in favor of this demolition, not at this time. Potentially in the future, yes, for there to be a healing garden, as is being discussed, that's fine, but just not now. Absolutely. You know, and why do you think, Dr. Goodman, uh, that there has been so much back and forth? I mean, now we're seeing that the demo is, you know, apparently supposed to move forward, happening December 28th. I mean, at this point, we're now less than two weeks away. Why do you think there's been so much back and forth? And do you think there is a possibility that, in fact, once again, uh, the scheduled demolition will not happen? I think there is a possibility, Nicole, especially if the family members are really in a cohesive group um, agreement not to have this happen. You know, why is it moving so swiftly? You and I were together, of course, discussing and remembering and respecting this past November 13th as the one year anniversary. So it really seems like some type of rush to to do this. Now, the why, um, potentially because, as the university president said, it, it's a grim reminder in his words. However, I think that it will be a grim reminder for these families, for the country, until this case is truly brought to closure by demolishing the home. I don't think that means the atrocity goes away. If anything, to keep it intact, to allow a jury the opportunity to look at interior, exterior, of course, both defense and prosecution will have the pictures, will have um, you know the, the sketchings, if you will, and such that they'll use on either side, but um, it really makes no sense to me. And I, I do hope that there's a different resolution forthcoming before the two week uh, deadline. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it's been said that, you know, that the defense lawyers uh, for, for Koberger are able to take photographs, they're able to gather information inside the house. So based on that, the fact that it's, you know, specified that it's the defense, should we assume prosecutors already have everything that they need? Yes, I believe strongly that's the case, Nicole. I think um, as you and I have had these conversations, we know just to recap four key areas I feel will be crucial for the prosecution, touch DNA on the night chief, phone pings, surveillance of the suspect's car, and ultimately what will be shown is uh, communication from the suspect via social media to one or more of our victims. So I think the prosecution is um, coming in strong again on the defense side. Seems to me following it for a year plus um, week on defense. We, we don't have anything solid other than allegedly this long drive to nowhere that no one can verify or validate. Well, yeah, we will certainly see what happens. We'll see uh, if the house does in fact start to come down in less than two weeks. All right, criminologist Dr. Debbie Goodman, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.